Okay, so we've got to talk about what's in these bags. Greetings and salutations from beautiful West Palm Beach, Florida. Burn, 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 burn. Welcome back to my channel. So if you didn't already know, I am a huge Star Wars fan. And recently, Kith had a massive Star Wars drop. Now, I didn't see it coming. I did not know Kith did this every year. In fact, I did not find that out until I went to the drop. So this drop was done on May 4th or May the 4th be with you to celebrate the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi, the end of the original trilogy of the Star Wars films. Now, Jedi is isn't my favorite out of that trilogy, that's gonna be The Empire Strikes Back. However, I still really appreciate it as the end of that particular story arc. Anyway, enough nerd rambling, let me show you what's in those bags. Now, the first thing that I picked up was the Star Wars and Kenth Millennium Falcon wall clock. Now, this dropped on Monday, May 1st as a part of Kenth's ongoing Monday program drops they do every week. And me being an absolute dumbass, I thought that I would be able to just go into my local Kenth store on that Tuesday when I went back to work and just pick a clock up. Now, this ended up not being the case as I went into the store on Tuesday and asked for one of the clocks and they were like, they sold out. Now imagine me standing there looking like I'm the only nerd in the world. <laughs> but seriously, I should have been better prepared. As luck would have it, I went back into the Kith on the third to see if they were gonna have the stuff for the May the 4th drop. So when I went in to ask about that, the girl remembered me asking about the clock on Monday and was like, oh, I have one left. Now, it didn't end up being the one I wanted. I actually wanted the Vader one, but still, it was nice to be able to grab one and at retail, no less. Now, as far as details, as you can see, it is a pretty big wall clock, and I think it will fit really nicely in the space right above this rack. Now, it features that large Star Wars artwork on the inside, featuring the Millennium Falcon flying over what I have to believe is Tatooine. The hands of the clock feature what I'm going to assume is Luke's new green lightsaber, the one that he built in the deleted scenes of the Return of the Jedi film. Shoot, I forgot to get batteries for this thing. <laughs> now, apparently it does not tick when you put the battery in it, and I was going to show that off on camera, but unfortunately I forgot to buy batteries when I went to the store today, so my apologies, but I will let you know later if it ticks or not. Now, I don't know how I'm supposed to tell time on this thing, as it does not have any numbers on it, but I guess I'm just gonna have to ballpark it and figure out kind of what's what. Either way, it is a really cool addition to my Star Wars collection, which features a lot of really random and wacky things like an Instapot, for example. So the next thing I picked up from the Kith and Star Wars drop was actually on May the 4th, and it was this Kith and Star Wars Emperor tee. Now, I picked this up from my local store, which is in the Miami Design District. And to be totally honest, there were a lot of tees in this particular drop that I wanted. I'll put a few of them up on the screen so that you guys can see like some of the choices that I had. But of all the tees that they offered, this was the one. This shirt itself has a beautiful vintage black wash on it. And it's a nice kind of heavyweight tee too, which I really like. Now, I haven't tried this thing on quite yet. I literally waited until I made this video before I even took it out of the wrapper. So whatever B-roll I put up of me wearing this shirt is probably my first time wearing it. I really hope it looks good. Now, I really I love this vintage rap tee style graphic on it. The big graphic with the blue lightning really sets it off. As my boy Big Slimmy said, a blue lightning graphic really just hit different on a black tee. And speaking of hitting different, if you vibing with this video, go ahead and click that little like button right there. You know what I'm saying? Show your boy some love, show your boy some love. And if you vibing with this or any of my other content, don't hesitate, go ahead and click that subscribe button and let them know that you fucks with your boy. And I'ma just keep deleting delivering you this fire content. So without further ado, back to the video. Now, last but certainly not least, and the thing I wanted the absolute most was the Star Wars and Kith Darth Vader cookie jar. Now, when I first saw this, I was like, man, this is fuego. I absolutely have to have it for my home. Now, this one I picked up from my local Kith store, once again, in the Miami Design District. Shout out to y'all. Y'all handled the release very, very well. Now, this one came in a really dope custom box. I I'm going to have a real hard time throwing this thing away. 
day. I don't know. I got to find somewhere to keep it at in my house. Now, you could get it and use it for a variety of different things. It does make a very nice little storage piece that you can have around your house. It can even be like a little ceramic structure. And speaking of which, it is made out of ceramic, but it has a soft touch finish, so it still feels premium without feeling absolutely delicate in hand. It's a great collector's piece for any Star Wars fan. And like I said, it was my most coveted piece. It was the one that I had to have. So what do you guys think about my kit, the Star Wars haul? I know I didn't get a lot. There were a lot of pieces that I wanted. I wanted the Vader fleece. I wanted a few more tees. I wanted the paperweight. I wanted some of the posters. If anything, the thing I regret the most is not buying one of the posters because it was the cheapest thing that you could get. And it is probably going to have like the most ridiculous resale value of all the things as far as like margins. And I'm not saying that I was getting it to resell it. It's just that I don't want to go back and have to pay three times the cost of a $25 poster to get it. Unfortunately, I did not realize that the posters were as big as they are because I can't read measurements. I'm an idiot. I know. Anyway, thank you for watching this video and let me know down in the comments what you thought about my pickups. And if you got anything from the Kiv Drop, what did you get? Also, if you were at the Miami Kiv Drop, you were there in the morning. Let me know if you saw me out that bitch. I was out there sweating. I had this black ass shirt on. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, you probably like one of these too. So stick around, click on one of those and I will see you on the next video. Until then, peace.